back to my channel. Today we're going to be learning how to achieve this makeup look. I really love it. I love how it came out. I hope you guys can see it as good as I can see it in person. And it shows like that on camera. So if you guys want to know how to achieve this makeup look, keep on watching. And if you guys enjoyed the look, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. So I'm just going to use some of this concealer for my eyeshadow primer with my Luxie 110 Detail Flat Blender Brush. And I'm just gonna set this with the shade White in my Lorac Pro Palette. Generously applying this, especially concentrating on my brow bone. This is gonna make my blending process so much faster and easier and now I'm going to go in with my blending really dirty blending brush I was just using it for this eye with the shade orange soda from Anastasia generously applying this all over my crease and up to the brow bone but not quite there You want to start with little product because then your blending process is just going to be faster and easier because it's better to have too little than too much to blend out, trust me on that. I'm just going to do windshield motions and rotating motions as well. I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques blending brush I think. I don't know what the name of this is but it's just a really good blending brush as you guys can see it's tapered at the end so that's going to help you put the powder exactly where you want it always taking off the excess and we want to keep this mainly on our crease and taking it outwards and i'm just switching between brushes to just help my blending process this is a brush from bh cosmetics it doesn't have a number on it. It's okay if we get any of it on our lid. Now for a more detail with the eyeshadow, I'm going to go back in with this one. Taking it almost to my inner corner, but not quite there yet. And always focusing our outer when you end here you want to make like a C or a V whichever one you choose so you go out and then you go in like that which is going to help you transition that color to your lid area again going my starting brush with the same orange soda Make sure that everything is super blended. Just a lot of blending in this process. And when you're satisfied, then we're gonna go in with this pigment by Ellen Tracy. I got this at TJ Maxx, if I'm not mistaken, or Marshalls, whichever two. Both of them carry it, so you guys should be able to find it. I'm just gonna spray my brush with some Fix Flux. To help that pigment stay, we are gonna have a lot of pull out, so I'll be ready. Start layering on the lid. I wanna be very generous with this. And now I'm just gonna go in with my starting brush to make sure that all of the edges are not rough and really blended. You don't want to take this brush anywhere where you put that glitter because I saw that when I blended out the glitter, it, was, it just lost its shine. So you want to just keep the brush away from the glitter. And just from the edges, very carefully. Now I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation so I can finish my eye look. And as always, I'm going to go in with my Coven D Locket Foundation.
And now for a turn of events, I'm going to go in with black on my lower lash line because I've been really loving black lately. I don't know if it's the dark hair or what is it. I mean, it's summer and I'm like fall on my face, but who cares? It's makeup. I'm just taking my black, literally it's called that black from my Lorac Pro palette. And I put some fix blocks to prevent the fallout hopefully because I already set my face so that will be a real bummer as you guys can see I'm not gonna take it all the way into the inner corner or I'm gonna take it about right here And now we're gonna really blend that out using the same shades that we use on our lids. We're gonna go in with orange soda and then with sienna. And if you feel like you want more black, be my guest, go ahead. I might just do that as well. And now to make it really dramatic, I'm going to go in with a black liner from, where is this from? I don't know, from a brand that I cannot remember. Does it have a name on it? What brand does it have a name on this product? gonna finish my face a lot you guys know the drill I'm gonna contour bronze all that jizzle And now for my favorite blush brush right now and highlighting brush all in the same place. I don't know, I just love this brush right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight and for your guys' surprises, I'm using another thing that's not Becky Cosmetics. It's the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to be mixing this shade and this shade. You get that really glowy. Look, I'm gonna concentrate my highlights on the apples on my cheeks rather than on top. I am going on top as well, but I'm just gonna concentrate it here. This swirling motion. Can you guys see that? Now I'm going in for my blush and I am going to use NYX Cosmetics. I'm not going to apply brush blush here but almost like on top of that bronzing. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my eyes. I'm just gonna put it on some mascara and falsies on the outer corners of my lashes just to really make them pop and look dolly-like. 
like a little doll. You get it? No? Okay. And now to finish off the look, since I didn't know what to do with my lips, I'm just gonna go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. So this is the finished result. I am so happy with it. It really came out really good. I like it. I hope it shows on camera like it shows in person. I've been having a lot of trouble with getting my quality to be the right way and like my makeup showing the right way and like how it looks on person. So I really hope I nail this look. I really love it. I think I'm going to be wearing this a lot over going out and I don't know, anywhere that I go. I really, really like it. and. I was inspired by the sunset and by many people on Instagram and YouTube because this look has been pretty famous. So I really wanted to try it for myself. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like it, if you guys hate it, anything that you guys want to see next. And stay tuned for a lot more on my channel this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. And now for a turn of events since I've been loving black late tea. Late tea? Lately. Why are I wearing this? Ow! Oh. It's magic. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? I don't even know where that black came from. Can we ignore it? No, we can't. I can't. I'm gonna fucking psycho. I'm gonna take off my makeup. <gasps>